you live in North America, boy, you will be loving me at this point if you're looking for a delicious way to enjoy Brussels sprouts. Chris here at CaribbeanPod.com. Welcome to my kitchen. Always a pleasure having you guys here with me. Today's recipe, we're going to take Brussels sprouts and give it a Caribbean sort of twist, sort of flavor. Holiday season is coming up. You're going to see these in the grocery store if you live in North America, if you live in Europe. Uh, down in the Caribbean, as I said, it's not native to the Caribbean, but you probably find it in the frozen section of your grocery store. Additionally, you can use cabbage if you want for this. So here we go, a Caribbean twist on Brussels sprouts. I've got a nice wide pan here on a medium high heat. I'm going to go in with a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Now you can use a non-stick pan so you don't have to use as much oil if you're concerned about the oil. And then I'm going to go in with one chopped up onion, about a medium sized onion, as well as three cloves of garlic that I finally chopped. I'm going to turn my heat down to low because I want that to sweat and start releasing a lot of that lovely flavor from the, the cooked garlic especially. After a couple of minutes, my heat is still on low. What I have here is about one cup, or three quarter to one cup of salted cod that I prepared. So which means you soak it, you boil it in water, and then um, to remove all that, most of the salt and to rehydrate it. This is salted cod, as I said. In the description of the video below, I'll, sh I'll have a link there on how to prepare it to get it ready for here. So all we're gonna do now is go in with that salted cod. And you know we love some salted cod. Any sort of salted fish, dry salted fish would work, but we love this stuff down in the Caribbean. Give that a stir. Your heat is still on low. Let that go for about three or four minutes. We're then going to go in with some fresh ground black pepper. And I have here, and this is totally optional, this is what we call pimento or seasoning peppers down in the Caribbean. A um, lot of flavor, no heat whatsoever from that. And I've got here a couple of bird's eye chilies. You can use scotch bonnet pepper if you want. This is what I've got to this. I'm going to be using this. If you're using these, you can put them in whole so you won't get that, that harsh heat from it, um, but a lot of flavor from it. However, I want the harsh heat, so I'm just going to cut it up finely and put it in here as well. We're now going to go in with one pound of Brussels sprouts, which I trimmed off all the uh, discarded leaves on the outside, and I pretty much cut them in half. Any sort of leaves that were laying around, please add them in there as long as they're not tarnished or discolored. And give that a quick stir. Just try to pick up all those flavors from the bottom of the pan. And coat each piece of Brussels sprouts with a bit of that flavor from the onion, from the garlic from the pimento peppers and of course that salted cod. I'm just going to go in with a slight pinch of Madras curry powder as well. Just to give it a little extra flavor. That's probably about a quarter of a, well quarter to half of a teaspoon. Just to give it a little extra flavor. And all you do now, you basically cook it to the the sort of tenderness that you like. I like my vegetables with a slight crunch, but again, it's totally up to you. You'll notice that we're not putting any salt in here. The remaining salt from that salted cod will be enough to flavor this dish. It's been about 15 minutes now. Well, you're gonna start seeing nice uh, golden color on the edges, on the flat side, especially of the Brussels sprouts. Here's where you're gonna personalize it. You can continue cooking it for a little bit longer. I cooked it without the lid on there because I didn't want any moisture to make this soggy. I wanted it to be, you know, almost like a stir fry, but with that salted fish. Uh-uh, Papa, things smelling good. Last thing I'm gonna do, I've got me some lemon here. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of lemon juice. Nothing too much, and that is it. I tr trust me, watch me. I'm sure the kids, you probably still won't be able to convince the kids to eat this, but as an adult, you're gonna love this one, man. Show your boys some love, click the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. All these wonderful, tasty, delicious curry recipes are gonna be delivered directly to your inbox as soon as they go live here on YouTube. 
Always a pleasure having you guys here with me. Enjoy your holidays and do give this Brussels sprout recipe a try.